Hi, I'm Mano. I'm going to be speaking with uh, Keith and Jeff about building scalable geo web applications at Google I.O. Over the last five years, there's been an explosion of web-based uh, geographic applications, which we often call the geo web. The growth of these applications has been driven by such uh, tools as the Google Maps API and Google Earth. These tools take care of the front end of the deployment, the complex job of putting the right map tiles in front of the right people. However, developers who have a rich uh, spatial data set uh, have to build the back ends for these applications themselves. When these applications scale up with tons of data and lots of users, geo developers have to become web server architects, sharding their databases, balancing the loads between servers, and spending a fair amount of money and lots of time just to have their applications continue to run. In this talk, we'll talk about what are the problems of scalability, what are some of the approaches, and what Google offers in a way of data hosting that is useful for spatial data. Specifically, we'll talk about Google Base, Google App Engine, and the really exciting new Google Maps Data API, which uses the, uh, the standard Google Data API set based on Atom Pub. So here's, here's the basic uh, code. This is, this is Atom Pub. Anybody who's familiar with it will, will recognize this. But this is uh, posting an entry to edit a link of an existing feature in, uh, in the Google Maps. And you'll see here you've got your Atom entry, you've got title and content. These are all familiar to you if you've used Atom Pub or any of the Google Data APIs which are based on Atom Pub. And you see the place mark, and that's in the KML namespace. Maps Data API reuses KML. It's really exciting. It's been a lot of people have been talking about this. Uh, how do you integrate, you know, RESTful applications with uh, with KML? And here we are. Description, style, point. These are just standard KML. Uh, you're just posting a place mark, and that's it. That's all you have to do. So we're going to go over this and a lot more during the talk. And I really look forward to seeing you. Hope uh, hope you can make it.